Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of describing data and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So this is a graph that you might see here and this is what we would call normal distribution. That means everything works out perfectly and you've got your mean, your median, and your mode all clustered together in the middle. Sometimes you might have heard this as a bell curve. When we're talking about a bell curve, something that looks kind of like this, it's very symmetrical, that's a term that we'll be using in sixth grade, that simply means that your data has symmetry. You can take your mean, your median, or your mode, you can draw a line right down the middle, and you're going to see the same data distribution reflected on either side here. This is something that happens actually rarely with real life data because there's always going to be things that skew it. There's always going to be outliers, which we'll look at in just a moment. But let's make sure we understand these three terms here. Mean is just another word for average. So if I were to take all of my pieces of data right here, add them all up and divide by the pieces of data, I would get my average or I would get my mean. When you're looking at a symmetric distribution right here, it's going to be right in the middle. Your median is close, but it's not the exact same thing. That means the middle number. So if you were to take all your pieces of data and you were to line them up and then simply choose the middle number, it's going to be in the, the same as the mean only if you have a perfectly distributed data set. Sometimes yeah, this is where an outlier will really mess you up. Is you get one number that's really small or one number that's really big, and that will mess up your median. And then finally, your mode is the most chosen, or it is the piece of data that shows up the most. In this case, it's going to be this middle number right here. So only with a perfectly symmetrical data set will you see the mean and the median and the mode all together. Typically, you'll see the mean and the median pretty close to each other, and then the mode might be something completely different. So let's look what happens when you don't have a symmetrical distribution. So another term that we are going to need to know for sixth grade is the term skewed because we just looked at some examples of symmetrical data, typically called a bell curve. But this is not what these two bar graphs look like. Rather than having a perfect line, you see that it's all kind of shifted to the right or to the left. So when your data is skewed, that means it's kind of bunched together right here. And in this case, we've got it kind of bunched together right here. And then there's going to be a few pieces of information that kind of stand off to the side. So skewed means it's not exactly even. It's not symmetrical. So two terms that we're also going to need to know with this term skewed is the term cluster. So when we're looking at a cluster, that's going to be where is not all, but where is most of our information clustered or gathered together? And in this first data set right here on the left, you would say that it is clustered right here. And it looks like we've got that between negative one and one. So your biggest cluster is going to be between these two values, negative one and one. Obviously, there are some values that are larger and that are smaller, but that's where the biggest chunk of your data is going to be. Over here on the right, it looks like my cluster is going to be maybe include these four bars right here. There are going to be some more outside of that, but that's where the biggest cluster is going to be. So that's where your biggest bunch is going to be. Think of a cluster as a bunch. And then finally, you might have heard this term before, an outlier. An outlier is simply a piece of data that doesn't quite fit. We don't necessarily have an outlier over here on the right side, but you probably noticed we have an outlier over here on the left. And typically, it's just a question mark. It's where did that piece of data come from? There's this big gap right here, and it is way over there, like negative six or negative seven. So an outlier it happens is when you get a piece of data that doesn't quite fit the pattern. So here's two more examples of outliers. You see on the right, this histogram here is your cluster right here. That's where your largest piece of information is near that 1.6. But then you've got this outlier way up here at 11.2. You've also got this line chart and you have most of your data right here moving normally. And then you've got that outlier way up there on the right. 